folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you again from Dead Pit Radio. Today we have another goodie from our good friends over at Kino Cult. It's a new sub-label from Kino Lorber. And they're doing a bunch of re-releases, a bunch of MGM stuff. And this is yet another one, H.G. Wells' Empire of the Ants. Directed by the original Notorious B.I.G., Burt I. Gordon, who started making movies in the 50s and made them pretty hardcore all through the 70s and everything. And we're going to take a look at Empire of the Ants. Now, this one was released previously from another label. I think it was in a double feature. Uh, Burt Gordon... I am more familiar with Curse the Puppet People. That's a little B-movie that I kind of grew up on watching. You know, it's from the 50s and everything, but I, I don't know. It really hit home with me when I saw it years and years ago as a younger kid. Also, Uncle Bill recently reviewed Food of the Gods, which Kino Cult also has out. And another B.I.G. joint, Village of the Giants. And he's done all kinds of stuff, but like this was his thing. Giant creatures or itty bitty people or gigantic people. Like he was all about size, right? He was a size guy for sure. And Empire of the Ants is no different. Gigantic ants, boys. Look at that. I hate little ants. Could you imagine gigantic gargantuan ants? You don't have to imagine it if you watch Empire of the Ants from 1977. Kino Lorber gave us this new special edition Blu-ray with a slippity dip. And we're going to take a look at the Blu-ray here in a little bit and, of course, the movie. So let's dive in to Empire of the Ants. Director Burt I. Gordon's Empire of the Ants from 1977. Directly off the heels of Jaws' gigantic success, filmmakers were trying to come up with some gigantic creatures, right? Big creature feature movies. And this is Burt I. Gordon's answer. Joan Collins plays Marilyn, who is real estate investor slash con artist, who is taking investors on a tour of their latest endeavor, Dreamland Shores. It's a beach resort made out of mainly swampland. And after a radioactive barrel reaches the Dreamland Shore and leaks out, the island is quickly run over by giant killer ants who are hungry for human flesh. You got that right. Ridiculous looking ants. Her camera tricks and everything else so now the group of investors in maryland are fighting to survive the giant horde of ants there's a hilarious scene with giant ants on a boat it's just fucking ridiculous man but it is fun it's a lot of fun movies like this always crack me up and this is no different guys has it aged well no, no, the effects are not the greatest, but there is a certain charm to a movie like Empire of the Ants, and I had never seen this one all the way through up until recently with this particular edition here from Kino Cult, and the transfer on this thing looks fantastic. I can tell you guys that if you're a fan of this movie. This is definitely the addition to get. Um, me personally, like, I, I am not an aficionado of these sort of films. However, I did have fun with this. The Empire of the Ants is goofy, drive-in, theater-style just craziness. Um, if you're into the giant monster movies or giant creature movies... Um, Food of the Gods, another one like Giant Rats and, and stuff like that. So this one is right in that same ballpark. Um, Empire of the Ants will not disappoint. 
you guys. And if you don't have it on any sort of physical media, this is definitely the one to pick up. Kino Lorber did a fantastic job with this release. There is some special features in it as well. Two different audio commentary tracks. One is with the producer and director, Bird Eye Gordon, who just recently had passed away. I think he passed away in 2023 and was over a hundred years old. So that's, that's pretty amazing. Another audio commentary with film historians, David Del Valle and filmmaker slash historian, Michael Verratti and theatrical trailers as always on these two. This one is in a slip case which features the same artwork, although there is some flip art that you guys may appreciate as well, more of a retro style cover art there. And look at that, man, look how cool that is. Yeah. This one is out now from Kino Lorber. It is part of their Kino Cult line. It is Kino Cult 11. Check it out, guys. It's a lot of fun. If you're into movies like this, it's a no-brainer. You've probably already pre-ordered it. These are priced to move. Great little additions, guys. Check them out. Be sure to check us out. We're over at deadpit.com. I'd like to tell people to thumbs up the video, Uncle Bill. Would you? Yes. Thumbs it up with violence and fury. And just love everything about it, right, Uncle Bill? Yeah. You hit the heart button, then you hit the ass button, then you hit the go fuck yourself button. Follow that up with the I don't give a shit button. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpit.com. Simply the best horror shirts. On T Public, there are others. But they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com Special thanks goes out to our supporters on Patreon. You know what kind of stuff you can get on Patreon, Uncle Bill, starting at only $1 a month? What's that? Access to every Dead Pit show since 2005. We got almost 200 fan commentaries that we've done over the decades. We have a literal jukebox full of songs and thousands of reviews. I don't even know how many shows are up on there now that we've done over the years. Hundreds of thousands. You need to figure this out now and subscribe to us on Patreon and YouTube and Instagram and help us to one million. The, the road to a million subscribers starts today. So deadpitonpatreon.com. Join today. Tiers start at only a dollar, but I'd recommend at least the $10 tier. You can do 50. The stock market's crashing around us, folks, but send us money. 